Ahoy, lads and lassies! There be a legend centuries old of a lost treasure more valuable than gold. Though the pirates searched both land and sea, they could not find where it might be until Captain Billy sailed the ocean blue and brought that treasure home to you. So grab your treasure map, climb aboard the Caribbean Queen, and join us as Captain Billy Ocean and his crew unveil the greatest wonders God has ever shown. What's going on, Ripley Waters? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. It just couldn't wait. Wait? Well, well wait for what? Oh, well, last week we left Esau, ah. and Esau had threatened to kill Jacob, and Jacob had to run away, <laughs> and we don't know what happens next. Oh, is that all? You find the Bible so exciting that you can't wait to hear the rest of the story? Oh, that's right. Oh, we, Jacob was out there in the wilderness. How do we know if he's going to be okay? Well, he does have Isaac's blessing, but we can find out. Let's open up the treasure right now. Right. Now, as you may remember, Jacob tricked his daddy Isaac. Oh, I know, I know. Jacob had tricked Isaac and stole Esau's blessing. And then Esau threatened to kill him. So Jacob had to run away. And I don't know what happens next. This suspense is killing me! Oh, <laughs> you know the story so well. Why don't you tell it yourself? Oh, no, 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 no. You tell it much better. Go ahead, go ahead. Well, Jacob left for quite a while, long enough to start his own family. And finally, he sent a message to meet with his brother Esau. And then he wrestled with a mysterious stranger all night long. Oh, now, doesn't Jacob know you're not supposed to talk to strangers? I. But this wasn't that kind of stranger. Uh, many people believe that it may have been an angel. And many people believe that it might have been the Lord himself. Oh, well, well, what happened next? Well, the Bible tells us that Jacob wrestled with a mysterious stranger until daybreak. And when he could not overpower Jacob, he touched Jacob's socket to wrench it. So the feller just touched his hip and threw it out of socket? Aye, but Jacob still wouldn't let go until that feller blessed him. <laughs> ah, Jacob was always after those powerful blessings, wasn't he? Oh, what did the wrestling feller say? Well, he asked Jacob his name. And then the man said, Your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with men and have overcome. Oh, who did he bless him? He did! <laughs> oh, that Jacob is a brave one. I... Oh, he would do anything for God's blessing. I... Oh, what happened next? Well, Jacob looked up, and he saw his brother Esau coming at him with 400 men. Oh, so there's Jacob with a twisted up hip, and here comes Esau with a whole army. Right. Oh, what did he do? What did he do? Well, Jacob put all of his family in a safe place, mm -hmm. and then he went ahead by himself and bowed down seven times as he came near his brother. Oh, well... What did Esau do? Well, the Bible says Esau ran towards Jacob. Yeah, yeah. Threw his arms around his neck. Yeah, yeah. And kissed him. No, wait, kissed him. No, 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 no. You mean that he killed him? <laughs> nope, he kissed him. He kissed him? Hey, well, yeah, what? I thought that Esau was so mad at him that he wanted to kill him. He was. Well, then what's with all the kissy face? Well, God had promised to protect Jacob, and so he changed Esau's heart. Oh, so the brothers was reunited, and the whole family was back together. I... Oh, well, what happened next? Well, God had given Jacob a beautiful family, mm -hmm. reunited him with his twin brother, and kept his promise to protect him. God had blessed him so much that Jacob built an altar. Oh, for, for what? To worship the Lord. Uh, Jacob put it in the very place where the Lord first promised to be with him. Aye, well, I guess Jacob could get all the blessings that one feller could get. 
Well, you might think so, but God was not quite done. The Bible says after Jacob went home, God appeared to him and blessed him again. Again? <laughs> oh, that Jacob, yeah, he sure gets those blessings, that heel catcher. <laughs> oh, heel catcher was his old name. Oh. Yeah. Uh, God said to him, your name is Jacob, but you will no longer be called Jacob. Your name will be Israel. So he named him Israel. And God said to him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and increase in number, a nation. And a community of nations will come from you. And kings will come from your body. Oh, that sounds like the promise he made to Abraham. Aye, very good, yes. Mm -hmm. God had promised Abraham to make him the father of many nations. And who was Abraham? Let's see. Oh! Jacob's grandpa. <laughs> that makes sense. God had kept his promise from Abraham to Isaac and now Jacob. <laughs> exactly. God always keeps his promises. In fact, to this very day, there are people who refer to our God as the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Oh, oh you mean Israel. <laughs> I indeed. And we're going to learn more about Israel in future weeks. Oh, I cannot wait. <laughs> well, stick aboard this ship, Mr. Ripley Waters, because I think God has great plans for your life as well. Thank you, sir. So long, kids. So long, kids. We'll see you next time. And until then, just like Jacob, may the God of wonders fill your sails and guide your paths.